Hey guys, doing an announcement here that I'm actually kind of very excited about it, but at the same time also a little bit nervous about. They have announced that they are in fact doing Batman The Long Halloween in a DC animated universe film. It's one of the most beloved comics of all time. It's probably one of my top five favorite comics about Batman. It's magnificently written by Jeff Loeb and illustrated by Tim Sale. And for those of you who watch my channel for the Supernatural business, you will know that Jensen Ackles is voicing Batman, and that's a very cool choice. I think that he could do the role really well. He already proved himself when he did the Red Hood, or under the Red Hood, all the way back in 2010, I believe. And if anyone has any sort of detracting factor that Jensen Ackles is doing it, trust me, they had Ben McKenzie. Ben, I can't emote anything from Gotham McKenzie voice Batman for Batman Year One. And he was aside Walter freaking White who played Commissioner Gordon. I've never seen such a contrast in terms of amazing voice talent to complete dead garbage. So yes, I am excited to see Jensen Ackles voice Batman. The only thing that I'm kind of concerned about is just the Warner Brothers animated universe kind of track record right now. They have tried several of Batman's classic comics over the last little while, and they have not transitioned well over into film. I remember when The Killing Joke was being announced as a film, and I just thought, that's not gonna work well, that's not gonna transition well, it's a short story, you can't make a film out of that and look what happened. The same for Hush, I think Hush is overrated and somehow they made it worse. I couldn't believe how bad the film was. And there's some other instances where year one is not bad, it's just unfortunate that the person voicing Batman is a wet toad. Maybe that might be the case with A Long Halloween. And maybe they are gonna take it a little bit seriously because they are putting it into a part one and part two sort of story. They started working on this so long ago that the actress, Naya Riviera, who voiced Catwoman, she's passed away, but she was able to finish her work before her death in July. Billy Burke is James Gordon. Uh, David whatever is Calendar Man. There's Troy Baker as Joker, who he has proven himself to be a very good Joker in the past. Josh Dunham as Dent? Well, that'll be kind of interesting. He, he might be good, he might be bad, I don't know. Either way, I'm excited to see one of my favorite comic books come to life. At the same time, I am a little bit cautious considering the track record that WP as a whole has had right now of anything DC. So I'm not gonna hold my breath for it to be great, but I will hope that it would at least be decent. Anyways guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.